Hi guys, welcome along to this video. I'm going to show you how to make some vocal chops using our sample pack, Vocal House. Now what I've done here is import the instrumental and then what I've got is the dry vocal and I've just chopped out this chorus section and we're going to go through and make some vocal chops. Now something I like to do first when I'm doing this is actually hard tune the vocal. It can create some quite cool effects. So we know this is F sharp minor because we've handily given you the key there. So I'll put in F sharp natural minor and let's get the response really fast and let's have a listen to how that sounds. If you love me, you gotta let me go. Don't stop me going. I need to be Okay, so now what I'm going to do is start to manipulate this vocal a little bit. Now a plugin that I like to use for this and I know is a very popular one is OTT. So I'm going to put that on. What this plugin is is a multi-band upward and downward compressor. So what it's doing is bringing down the transients in terms of the compressor, the downwards compressor, but it's also bringing up all the detail, all the low information, not low as in low frequency, as in low level. So it really brings out the detail if we push it hard. Okay, let's try adding a little bit of EQ. If you love me, gotta... Roll off the lows. If you just finding a, a couple of areas just to boost there kind of complementary areas if you love me, you Okay, I like the sound of that. Okay, let's try adding in a little bit of saturation. Let's try Saturn from Fab Filter. If you love me, if you love me, you gotta let me go, don't stop me. So with the saturation, we're really just trying to push this so that it adds some extra, again, cut to this vocal chop. It helps bring out the upper harmonics makes it sound kind of tight and punchy. We can play with the kind of dynamics here to add a bit of parallel compression in as well. Let's try that. So what I'm going to do is just bounce this down with these plugins on there. Okay, so from here there are different ways we can approach this. We could actually manually go through the file and pick out sounds that we like. It's a good idea to look for sounds with kind of interesting vibrato or pitch bend, longer held notes, consonants aren't going to work. So it needs to be pitched sounds really. If you so we could say, pick out this love sound here. So we could do it that way. We could actually go and chop manually. Like so, if not, what we could do is, if not, another way we could do it is actually go through and put in flex markers, like so. I'm obviously just doing this kind of at random by sight rather than actually listening but you could or you should sit and listen and try and you know do this a bit more precisely but let's say we just did this section here okay so what we could do then is actually right click on this file and say slice at flex markers and look what it's done. It's now chopped this vocal out at the flex markers that I made. Let's just switch off the flex view. 
Now if I select this and I say convert to new sampler track, we can now place this onto our sampler. Let's set the bottom note as being C3, so it's going to be right in the middle of the keyboard. So we want to do this as regions now. And now we have that arranged now on the keyboard for us to jam, so let's play the track. Quite like that combination. So I just put something in. Let's quantize this. Change it slightly. Place that if, with this same groove. So you can see it's got that nice kind of cut to it, so it, it does kind of punch through the instrumental quite nicely because of those extra processes we added before. So let's put on a little side chain. You can also do things like filtering this, of course. And this also sounds good with some interesting reverb effects on it. Now this is going to be a bit overwhelming for the drop, but let's try Valhalla Shimmer. So that could be good for a breakdown. And we can also add another layer of process into this as well. Let's put in an overdrive. And let's really drive this. By having this kind of distorted, let's bring the reverb back and this is quite cool. Just 
just as little effects to have in the track. Yeah, so you can see that by adding those extra effects we can kind of add even more interest to this vocal chop as well. Okay, so hopefully that's given you some ideas of how to create your own vocal chops in Logic using the raw materials from our sample pack Vocal House. Thanks a lot for watching.